This pandemic has been a gift to dictators and authoritarian regimes all over the world. The destruction of the autonomy of Hong Kong, new political prisons in Turkey, emergency powers in the Philippines, a rigged election and a crackdown in Belarus, a constitutional coup d'etat violating presidential term limits by Vladimir Putin in Russia. All of this while people were looking the other way. When the world reopens, all of these and many other crises must be addressed. For now, I am grateful to be a part of this important initiative that is not allowing people to forget. Democratic ideals will always have enemies who are inventive in concocting reasons for what they do. But democracy's defenders should have confidence because democracy is the one road all people can walk down together. And it is the only system that contains within itself the capacity through open debate to heal itself. In the last months, we've seen so many challenges to democracy, attempts to dismantle the system that provides us with so many opportunities and, and really the way forward in having a say as to how our lives shape out, those of our families, our communities, and oftentimes the world. Unless people around the world band together in support of democracy, it's not going to survive. And that's the reason why this call is an important one and why we want leaders and people around the world to mobilize in solidarity with others that demand democracy. I'm proud to join this call to defend the democracy, as I have dedicated my life to trying to achieve democracy, human rights, freedom for the Uyghur people. As the people who have been deprived of democracy, we recognize what is at stake. Some 30 years ago, we celebrated that across the world, people were gaining democratic rights and freedoms. And today, the opposite is happening. We have lost 36 democracies since the 1990s. Democracy promotion is no longer relevant. We need democracy protection. And we ask you to join us to do whatever we can to defend democracy. Defending our cherished rights and not taking them for granted is today more important than ever before. I myself was a political prisoner in the Soviet Union and I know that I became free only because of the global solidarity of people with my right to live as a free person. And today, when we have thousands and thousands of political prisoners all over the world, it is important that we will continue fighting for their rights. Working day in and day out with democracy activists across Africa and the Middle East, we became intimately familiar with the different and creative ways this pandemic is being leveraged uh, by authoritarian leaders and regimes to further crack down on democracy activists and movements within their respective countries. And I can't recall a moment in my lifetime when democracy was, was at more fragile state and needed such a strong and unapologetic action and stance in its defense. As they cleared, in the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, all human beings are born free and equal in terms of rights and dignity. This cannot be realized without democracy. Dealing effectively with the most fundamental human challenges requires more and better democracy, not less. It requires institutions that protect human dignity, not diminish it. We are in a twilight struggle to defend democracy from the authoritarian onslaught. Now is the time to muster the courage and build the global coalitions necessary to succeed in this struggle. Without democracy and transparency, repression and oppression will take place. As in the case of Tibet, Chinese government have occupied Tibet and have been repressing Tibetan people for the last 60 years. We urgently need democratic renewal and we urgently need the community of democracies and the idea of democracies to protect now our democratic freedoms, our press freedoms, our human rights under threat in COVID. In a word, we need to stand up for democracy. Here in the Philippines, we know from experience that the repression of human rights and basic freedoms has never yet solved any problem. 
authoritarianism can only lead to unrest, social division, violence, instability, and economic ruin. Today, as we face the greatest challenge of our lifetime, now more than ever, it is imperative that we ensure that everyone's rights are defended and every voice is heard. As Hong Kong activist Joshua Wong said, towards democracy is an uphill battle. But by joining forces, we send a signal that this is a battle that freedom-loving Democrats will fight together. Democracy for me, it's a basic human right. It goes far beyond just good and fair election. It embeds value like freedom of speech, religion, demonstration, and so much more than just putting a bulletin in a ballot. People want something better than what they have had. They do not want to be uh, governed by crooks or criminals uh, or dictators. They want freedom and dignity and rights. They know that the truest source of modernity uh, is for every man and woman to have a free choice in who governs them and for leaders to be accountable to citizens. Uh, that sovereignty and legitimacy of a government rest in the hands of its public. I believe in democracy because we should all have a government of the people, by the people, and for the people. I believe in democracy because it is the foundation of human freedom. If you live in a place where you can participate in the political process, please do. The only way that we can protect all our rights is if we protect our right to choose our own leaders. Together, we build democracies that deliver for all. We're in a critical moment for democracy around the world. Authoritarians are trying to sell a false narrative that in order to be secure, people need to accept fewer rights, more surveillance and less freedom. I completely reject that. When you treat everyone with equal dignity and respect without exception, there's inevitably less division and more security. Democracy may not be easy, but it's the only system that will bring lasting peace. What separates democracy from other paths is how it empowers governments to evolve and improve, to periodically refresh and reshape themselves, to admit mistakes and learn from mistakes, and put those lessons to work. History tells us that democracies, over the long run, are more prosperous, stable, and just. A call to defend democracy signed by an unprecedented global coalition of democracy leaders and advocates is a powerful rallying cry to meet this new political challenge, which is every bit as dangerous as the virus itself. The call is an act of solidarity with brave Democrats in Hong Kong and elsewhere on the front lines of the struggle against despotism, and it signals a new determination by the world's Democrats to challenge the falsehoods of authoritarian disinformation and to defend the values of liberty and human dignity.